Well, what's up, good people? Mark Holmes here, and as always, I want to thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, this literally does not work. You know, it seems like Cowboy fans have just been taking dumps on the Eagles, as well as the Cowboys taking dumps on the Eagles. What am I doing? Can't take back here, and so before we start this video, I got to get this mother humping thing out of the way. Mark Holmes is my daddy. Okay, that's out of the way. Ow! Yeah, well, the Eagles have taken a beating from the Cowboys this year. Let's be clear on this. Um, so we have some news. TMZ, which is always looking for Dallas Cowboys news, um, they have actually gone through today, and they just posted this a few minutes ago. Um, Dallas Cowboys' Noah Brown rips Kelsick for Simmons' criticism, basically saying, shit's corny. Um. This could be become bulletin board material. Oh, wait a minute. I'm sorry. I'm old. Y'all don't have bulletin boards anymore, do you? This may be, of course, your, your iPad or, or your, 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 your book, your MacBook, whatever. This will kind of go back, and maybe this will be something where Kel Jason Kelsick uh, uh, will want to get some revenge and, and so on. So here's what happened. Ben Simmons basically got criticized, uh, you know, for, you know, the, the fans in Philadelphia, you know, basically he's saying that they don't like him and this, that, and the other. And Kelsick basically said, play better and they'll like you. Well, that brings to mind a question for me then. Was Santa Claus not playing well enough because they sure seemed to hate him? They threw snowballs at Santa Claus. How did Santa Claus play badly? What does Santa Claus need to do to get them to love him? If you don't love Santa Claus, then there's something wrong with you, bro. But anyway, let's go into this. The Cowboys hate the Eagles on the field, and clearly they hate them off of it too. Now, because Noah Brown just crapped all over Jason Kelsick for criticizing Ben Simmons this week. Kelsick went off on the 76 Stars on Thursday telling reporters that the disgruntled point guard needs to quit crying about a situation in Philadelphia and just play basketball better. And, and let's see if we can play the clip. Hi, uh, I'm no, it, It's an add-on. Okay. When Brown, one of Dak Prescott's favorite receivers, got word of the comments on Friday, he snapped. He said in a series of social media posts, that's today, that Kelsey needs to mind his own damn business. Um, maybe you need to do this too. This is a Philly on Philly crime type thing. We in Dallas with the five and one record. Why are we getting drawn into this stuff? Uh, I, I mean, seriously. Um, all these Phillies athletes trying to sh shit on Simmons for an extra pat on the back from Philly fans. Uh, Browns wrote cornball activities. And you can see right up here. Yeah, he calls it cornball. I don't care when speaking on other man's habits, accountability on something, that just ain't got shit to do with you. Uh, you become cool. He added, shit's corny. Noah went on to say he thinks Philadelphia fans are going to jump down athlete's throat no matter what they say in the situation, explaining he believes the city only likes players when they play well. Philly's still going to uh, find you up next time. <laughs> so up, <laughs> effed up. So sit back and mind your business, he said. Simmons, meanwhile, appears to be on the verge of uh, reconciling rex rex with the Sixers. He reportedly met with the team this week and rejoined them and feels that his mental health has improved enough. Um, pot, meat kettle. Because when you tell him that you shouldn't be talking about another athlete, isn't that kind of... The same thing? Because you're talking to an athlete about how he should react to another athlete. And quite frankly, we need to be fo fo focusing in on our own shit. 
I mean, the shit is corny. The shit is ridiculous. The fact that uh, y- y- we all know how it is in Philadelphia, okay? They eat horse shit. Uh, l- let's be clear. They win the Super Bowl. Fans are eating horse shit. I-, 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 I can't help you. They're crazy. They believe that a cheese whiz cheese steak I- I- is the be-all, end-all of food. So trying to make sense with an Eagles fan or a Philadelphia fan, it's just not going to work out. It's just not. The best way you win in this game is don't play this game. They crazy up there. They crazy. And Noah Brown, dude, you need to stay out of this fight. There there is nothing to be gained on this one. I mean, nothing. Nothing at all to be gained by messing up with the Eagles. Let them fight. Let it be, uh, just just let it go. Don't don't give them advice. Let it go. I, I I just don't understand why why we messing with that. But what do I know? I'm a guy with a day job and a voodoo doll. Cowboys aren't the only cow- Cowboys. Do you think that New England was a good team last year? To be honest, the Cowboys should win the division. They have the better quarterback and probably better offense than every other team. But you don't know what? about Washington. I don't like their quarterback play. Um, but I don't think that any of them are that good. Dak with his, his shoulder. Did he just say you know, the Cowboys win the division? Win this division. I don't think they're going to Super Bowl. I don't think they're going to NFC Championship game. But I think they could get to the first round of playoffs. First three. Yeah. Sean Fitzpatrick. Absolutely. Yes. Uh-oh. That might be the kiss of death. June 2nd, man. That's cool. You're the, yeah, June 